Thank you. I'll uh, keep it short because uh, I know there are lots of people here waiting for the awards and I know some of them have to go back to work, right? Uh, because news doesn't stop. Um, I just want to make two or three points. Everyone likes to speak of uh, uh, how bad journalism has become today, right? And uh, um, how there were these good old days of journalism. And I think uh, they couldn't be more wrong. I think there is more good journalism happening today uh, than there ever has been. Uh, it, it's just that there is so much of information now. Uh, it's like Netflix, right? There are a few good movies and there are thousands of bad movies. Uh, you have to know where to look. And, and just because you know, you're, you're scrolling social media and you're looking at what your SEO is throwing up, you will arrive at random stuff, but that doesn't mean that's the only journalism that's being produced. Uh, there are insightful opinion pieces that are being written, and there is a lot of really good long-form journalism that's happening in this country. And let me tell you this, I've, I've been in this profession for way too long. I've, I've been, I'm a dinosaur, so I've been here for a really long time. Um, there's more good long-form journalism that's happened in the last five years in this country than there ever has before, right? Um, you have specialists who are writing on a variety of subjects. Uh, the concept of uh, data journalism is uh, new, but there are organizations that really do this well. So there is a lot of good journalism that's happening now. There is also a lot of bad journalism happening now, but that doesn't mean that there is no good journalism happening now. And people who speak about this, you know, good old times of journalism and of how at a certain point in time you had these uh, really superstar editors whose newsrooms were producing great work uh, are living in la-la land, right? I mean, you just have to go back and look at the quality of some of that work. And I think there's a lot of good work happening today. Uh, the second thing that happens is that uh, uh, we have, at least for the last 15 years really, uh, a little longer, but last 15 years and more so for the last 10 years, the thing that's really happened is that our audience has started talking back to us. Uh, prior to that, irrespective of the medium in which you were practicing your journalism, it was all just one way. Now you get feedback. You get feedback in a variety of ways. You, of course, get formalized feedback through your organizations, but you also get feedback through social media and everything else. And, and the thing about journalism is that uh, uh, everyone thinks that they're a journalist, right? I mean, or everyone thinks that they can do their job better than you can. Um, you know, all of us uh, travel by plane. But this doesn't mean that, you know, we sit in a plane and we immediately think that we can design an aircraft. Unfortunately, anyone who reads a newspaper thinks they can put it together, right? I mean, it, it is the price we have to pay for being in a profession which, which everyone thinks they are a specialist in. But actually, journalism is far more complex than these people give credit for. And I think um, all of you recognize that. There are uh, two or three important things, uh, however, that I'd like young people to keep in mind. Um, although 40 is not really young, right? I mean, <laughs> 40 under 40, if you want really young journalists, I think we have to go for 25 under 25 or something like that. Uh, because by the time you're 40, um, I mean, if you were in tennis, you would have retired by the time you're 40, right? I mean, so you're not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? Um, but uh, first thing is, you have to, if you're specializing in certain beats, you really have to go deep. Uh, there is no uh, substitute for going deep, for becoming an expert, uh, and I think journalists have to start recognizing this. Uh, there was a time in the past when journalism was all about having the right contacts. It was all access-based journalism. You still need to... Uh, have decent contacts, but you have to be knowledgeable enough for your contacts to start trusting you and to share information with you, and you really have to be smart enough to understand trends when you see them. So it requires a certain level of specialization. Um, not enough people have it, 
those who have it really go far in their career some of the people whom we pick today have it which is why they are in our list the second thing that i think is important for young journalists is data numeracy um, we are a country of uh, people who really don't understand data very well right uh, um, don't understand percentages don't understand proportions and the kind of adjectives we use uh, tells you how little we know, know about data because any growth we immediately call it exponential i mean you you ask a data guy what exponential is i mean in, uh, he, he will tell you what it is right i mean so but every kind of growth you know even if something grows uh, by 15% we call it exponential growth so uh, data numeracy is important also because um, there is a lot of data that is put out on a regular basis by whoever your sub you know whatever beats you are in right i mean it could be the government it could be companies the stock market information if you are able to understand read the data and if you are able to understand it you will come up with lots of interesting uh, perspectives and stories the third thing and this is probably one area uh, where i think or it's probably the only area where i think journalism today is a little weaker than journalism from uh, of previous generations and that's uh, from the aspect of moral leadership it it's actually um, an aspect of leadership that has got eroded across domains not just journalism even if you look at the corporate sector um, it started getting eroded there is a certain moral aspect of leadership and and that is what gives you the right to lead and and i think that is lacking in a lot of newsrooms so so for young people uh, you have to find your own moral core and live by your own values right and i think that is very very important that's all i have to say we had a really good bunch of people ruhel we had 59 60 entries we had close to 60 entries we've picked 29 of them because uh, you know there is no point uh, we could have picked 40 like you know this is 40 under 40 but i think that would have been unfair to the uh, 29 people whom we think really deserve it so we did not want to be restricted by saying okay we have to go out and choose so many people if there had only been five good people in the 60 we would have still chosen only five so congratulations to all the winners and uh, let's go